Hey, what's up, YouTube land? Eddie Hill. Today, we will be reviewing the Transformers War for Cybertron Siege Mirage. But first and foremost, get a quick look at the packaging. There you got some imagery of, of Mirage. Look at all Sieges. Siege. Is. Forgive me, I am recovering from a sickness and my volume cover and the artwork on the back really good toy product shut and it looks great you can use a battle master if you wish but I have no intention of using battle masters on this figure that's all there is to say for the packaging Tron Siege Mirage rolls like rolling things should And now we're gonna get. And hey, what's up, YouTube land? So, Eddie Hell. I forgot to say that. Now I'm happy I did. To transformation. Very simple. Very easy to follow. I've memorized it completely. And that is how. Major roll, robot mood. Which he is very impressive, looking very impressive. Fold, flip out his heel. Okay. So we get him oriented straight. His arms. Flip out his hands. And there we have Siege Mirage in his robot mood. A very impressive race car transformer. I like it. I dig Siege Mirage now. He definitely was worth $15. Not fifteen, but ten dollars. Um, where I got this figure from? Oh, I forgot to add on his shoulder cannon to give him that G one aesthetic, which he has been known for. And Siege does a really good job of representing the G one toy, making it better. And I like it best Mirage we got since the original generation's Mirage back way back when. Which I don't have. But I like this one a lot. Now I'm going to say, where I got this? I got this from a Amazon for only like $10. You could probably get this from uh, eBay for a good price maybe. A in store like Walmart or Target for a good price, I'm not sure. Well, this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. <coughs> and I am coming from a sickness. Moving on. 